Hello everybody. If you're new here, hello. My name is Brianna. It's very nice to meet you. If not, hey, what's up? Welcome back. I've been talking about doing a nail video for literally the past year and today I finally felt confident enough to share how I do my Gel-X nails at home. If you guys are unfamiliar with Gel-X, there is so many tutorials out here on YouTube and I'm sure that they explain the process and how to do everything a lot easier than I do because I've only been doing this for about a year and I still have so much more to learn and I'm still figuring out what works best for me. So I wouldn't really call this a tutorial per se but I just wanted to share with you guys the process that I use to do my nails at home and I'm sure you can tell by the thumbnail and the title that these are Valentine's Day themed nails so before I let you guys get on with the rest of the video I wanted to make a couple of announcements number one the rest of this video is going to be a voiceover because I cannot talk for the life of me while doing my nails at the same time so that is announcement number one number two all of the products that I have are from Amazon and will be linked in my Amazon storefront under nails I decided Decided to do it that way because I felt like it would be easier for you guys to go ahead and find what you're looking for if you see something that you like that I use in this video so that is all my announcements I really hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to follow me on all my social medias I love you so much enjoy hello so we are starting off with my natural nails right here and this is what they look like in their current state I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start prepping my nails for the gel tips so i'm taking a cuticle pusher and i'm just pushing back my cuticles making sure that i'm not cutting off any parts of my cuticles that are important to protecting my fingernails from bacteria you don't want to do that you just want to cut off any excess skin that could cause your nails to eventually fall off You can see here I'm using the opposite side of my cuticle pusher which is like a little metal it's not a razor but it kind of acts like one um, where you just glide it across of where you want to take off your cuticles and it comes right off this is probably my preferred way um, and I'm going in with the nail file immediately this is just to make sure that my natural nails are filed down as nice as possible and they are nice and neat because when you have a set on for a long time your natural nails are bound to grow out and mine grow out quite a bit so I'd like to make sure that they are being maintained <laughs> About you guys but I always have the hardest time filing my opposite hand I really don't know what the deal is with that but I usually struggle when doing that hand but I'm just wiping all of the debris off and I'm going in with my nail dehydrator so what this does is it takes away any oil that's on your nails if you don't have this then you can go ahead and use rubbing alcohol if you would like um, I did buy this in a set with a primer though, and I'm gonna spill some tea. I don't like the primer. I did use the primer in this video because I will always say that you should use it. This is the primer that I used, um, but this primer always makes my nail fall off. And I cut out a lot of stuff. They like, usually this process does take me a lot longer, but I would like to say that I feel like I prep my nails very nicely, but for some reason, my nails just don't like primer. These are the gel tips I'm going in, medium almond. I usually get coffin shaped and I cut it down and I shape it into looking almond, but I was over that, so I just bought these. Like I mentioned earlier, all of these products are going to be on my Amazon storefront, but what you can see me doing here is that this nail piece, right? I have very rectangular thumbs for some reason, <laughs> so I have to file them to be less rounded and more straight so that it can fit on my nail properly, and you can do this with any nail tips that you have. If they don't fit your finger the way that they're supposed to be fitting or the way that you don't want them to fit, then it doesn't take, it doesn't hurt to like take a hand file and to just file it to your nail. This is the 6-in-1 glue gel that I use. This is builder gel in a bottle, essentially. Makes it so easy. I have my gooseneck UV light 
that is also a game changer um so i start from the bottom push all of the gel up and cure under the light until the gel gets hard please don't rely on that lamp please don't rely on this lamp to fully cure your nails it's not going to do it you're going to need an actual nail cure like i'm doing right now you stick it in there and you're curing it for 60 seconds again don't trust the, the gooseneck lamp it's not going to do anything these are what the tips look like on and i went ahead and did the other side off camera for you guys but i am taking this nail clipper this is like the best thing i've used so you can size it up to like how much you want to cut off and so that all of your nails are even and you're not eyeballing it isn't this thing a genius you guys so i just used on the three setting i believe um just to cut my nails a little bit it was a little bit too long for my liking um, I am used to having long nails, but not that long of nails. Like, I wanted to go a little shorter. But since I had cut off the almond shape, I'm, I'm cutting the sides again to make it easier for my filing. So here I am now shaping the nails. This part is definitely a very tedious process, but to me it's very therapeutic. And like filing my natural nails, I have such a hard time filing my nails on my non-dominant hand. Or I like using my non-dominant hand to file my dominant hand's nails because I just have literally the hardest time with that. Um, I know that I am not the only one. I am right-handed, so it's definitely a little bit of a struggle. But the one thing about doing almond shape is that it's always so hard to make them look similar. <laughs> I don't know if I just have bad filing skills, but... I always struggle with getting them similar, so this process actually took about 30 minutes just to file both hands, um, but I'm not going to let you guys suffer through any of that, and I cut it as short as I could, but I wanted to show you guys as much of the process as possible. <laughs> Now I'm taking my buffer and I'm going to take all of the shine off the top of the gel tips. This is definitely optional. You don't have to do this, but I prefer to do this and I feel like it makes the polish go on a lot smoother. It also helps it stick onto the gel nail or the gel tips a lot easier. I also, I don't know, there's just something about it. I love buffing my nails. These are like very, very, very soft buffers. So definitely wouldn't use them a lot. I wouldn't use a lot of pressure um, when using these on your natural nails. But for the gel tips, go ham. I bought these on a pack of six from Amazon a year ago. And I still have four left. So this one I'm using is like almost done it's ready to go in the trash to be honest with you but i'd like to use them as much as possible because i mean like it was cheap but like still i want to make sure that i get all my uses out so here's the process of me buffing my nails i will also usually take some alcohol on like a little pad or like a paper towel and what i'll do is i'll go over them i'll go over the nails after i had buffed them to get rid of anything but in this clip i just shook them off so these are the polishes that i'm going to be going in with that brand that i'm using for my base color is literally the best gel nail polishes that i think i found also on amazon if you guys want to search for those um everything will be linked in the description but the base color specifically the 18 and the 19 shades i like to rotate through them and even their kind of off-white cream white color that they have in this collection is absolutely gorgeous but these make such a great base color i wanted to use something that you can get off of amazon um so that it's accessible for everybody um but i i, I will be honest with you guys i do have an opi gel in bubble bath that i prefer to use as my base 99 percent of the time but these are my second choice always making sure to cure those for 60 seconds these are my inspo i wanted to do some little hearts so i'm taking a dotting tool and i'm putting the two dots together and then using 
not a brush but like the smaller side of the dotting tool to kind of draw a v going downwards making a heart um i have never done a design like this before so this was literally my first time on camera so i actually messed up a lot and obviously i'm not going to be showing those to you guys because that's kind of embarrassing but also curing those for 60 seconds putting on a top coat and then there you have it these are my very cute simple minimalistic gel x nails for valentine's day i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry i'm mentioning it again but my amazon storefront will be linked down below for you guys to shop from if you want to shop these products don't forget to follow me on social media i love you guys so much goodbye